Hi there. Thank you for watching this clip on how to solve a quadratic equation. This quadratic equation cannot be solved by factoring. One of the ways you can check it quickly is by checking b squared minus 4ac if, if it's a perfect square. Okay. So for this case, we are actually going to use quadratic equation. Quadratic equation says solving this one is equal to minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac, the whole thing divided by a. Okay, so I always tell my student before you plug in using this complicated equation, what you really want to do is li list all the coefficient first. Okay, there's no reason to rush it and get it wrong, then you don't get any points in the end. It defeats the point. So x is equal to minus b, so it's minus minus 8, which is positive 8 plus minus b squared, which is 64, then minus 4a and c. So I plug it in there, and 2. Now notice I did this thing over here. It does look a little silly in that, why can't I just write 8 there? The thing is, if you slow down, especially on a test, your chance of getting the right answer increases quite a bit. So the whole goal, or the whole point, is getting the points for the knowledge that you do have, okay, 2 times 2. All right, so it's 8 plus minus this one. We have a 50, um, 56, I believe. Let's double make sure that's 56, okay, and divided by 4. Now, radical 56 is equal to, I'm going to look for 7 times 8, okay, 7 times 2 times 4. The reason I put a 4 in here is that 4 is a, perfect square. So I have a 2 radical of 14. Let's write it back there. 8 plus minus 2 radical 14. 14, even though it's an even number, there's no more square in that, in no more perfect squares in the 14, so there's nothing we can do to simplify that. Now, up to here, a lot of students say, well, do I divide it by 2? Yes, you do. If you don't see it right away, here's what you do. You pull the 2 out, and it becomes 4 plus minus radical 14 divided by 4. Now from here you see I'm going to simplify and then I have a 2. So the answer is 4 plus minus 14 divided by 2. Okay, so this is x. So I have two roots, 4 plus radical 14 divided by 2 and 4 minus radical 14 over 2. Okay, that's how we solve this type of problem. Hope it's clear. Please let me know if it was helpful to you. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. For more math answers, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, have a confident day.